CDL exam prep 2022 through 2023, page 26. Refusing to drive products that are leaking. Placing necessary placards. Transporting products quickly. Complying with every regulation regarding the transportation of hazardous materials. Safely keeping endorsement documentation and other vital credentials. Rules for communication. If there is an accident, you may be unable to communicate the types of hazardous materials that are in your vehicle. The police and other rescuers can minimize the level of risk they are at if they are aware of the kinds of hazardous materials in the vehicle. That is why the communication rules require every shipper to highlight the types of hazardous materials in the shipment. The inclusion of phone numbers for 24 seven response on the shipping papers. Every carrier and driver to place hazmat shipping papers where they can be easily located in an emergency. Every driver to store hazmat materials in a bag in the door closet to the driver or in a position where everyone can see it. Precautionary ways of handling hazmats. To prevent damage or explosion of hazardous materials. Switch off your engine before attempting to load or unload. Cut off heat sources. Ensure the floor lining is tight and not metallic or made of ferrous fer fer material. Be extremely careful when handling explosives. Do not throw or drop the containers. If a package is dampened or stained with oil, do not transport it. Label radioactive materials as yellow three. Page 27. Keep class four and five materials in secured and enclosed packages because they are harmful or reactive when wet. These materials should be kept dry. Provide proper ventilation for materials that are susceptible to combustion. Load corrosive materials one after the other and place them upright. Place nitric acid below other packages. Make sure corrosive liquids are not close to explosives, blasting agents, oxidizers, or poisonous gases. Create racks for storing cylinders. If there are no racks, then ensure the floor of the cargo area is flat. You may keep cylinders right side up or in a horizontal position. Do not keep any package labeled as poison in the driver's cab or with food materials. Switch off the engine before loading or unloading a flammable liquid. Before you park around private property, ensure the owner is aware of the dangers involved. Park farther than 300 feet from an open fire, a bridge, a building, a tunnel, or a multitude of people. You can park only when it is very necessary and only for a short period. Park your vehicle in approved locations, which are also known as safe havens. Whenever you stop by the roadside for emergency purposes, use red lights or reactive reflective triangles as signals. Do not use flares. Plan your route. As much as possible, avoid crowded areas. Mixed loading prohibition. The hazmat rules state that some products must be loaded at different locations to avoid 
combustion or contamination. Emergency situations. When there is an incident or crash, you should ask those around to stay far from the crash site. Page 28. Call the emergency response number immediately. Check the condition of your assistant or driver. Ensure everyone in the vehicle is safe. Keep shipping papers with you. A glossary of hazardous materials. In the field of mechanics and transportation, there are contextual terms that are used when discussing hazardous materials. They are as follows. Bulk packaging. This is packaging that is different from a vessel. It is found in tank vehicles or trailers that have hazardous materials. Cargo tank. This is bulk packaging and is known by three characteristics. It is a tank that is meant to contain tools, liquids, gases, and reinforcements. It is a permanent or non-permanent appendage to a vehicle due to its attachment to the vehicle. It can be loaded and unloaded without being disconnected from the main vehicle. It is not specifically designed for cylinders or any type of tanker. Carrier. This is someone who is involved in the movement of people or products on water or land. The individual may work on a contract basis or as a private carrier. Consignee. This is the receiver of shipment delivery. It may be a business or a person. Division. This is a subdivision or subunit of a group or class of hazard. EPA. This is an acronym for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. FMCSR. This stands for the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations. Freight container. This is a container that can be used multiple times. It can contain 64 cubic feet volume of gas or liquid. It is fabricated to allow the intact raising of its contents when loading or unloading for transport. Fuel tank. This tank is different from a cargo tank. It is used to ship flammable liquids and gases that power or fuel the vehicle to which it is fixed. It may sometimes serve other tools that are in the vehicle. Gross weight slash mass. This is the total mass or weight of the container and the product. Page 29. Hazard class. This is a classification of hazardous materials based on their description and form. Hazardous materials. This is a solid, liquid, or gaseous substance that the Secretary of Transportation has designated to be a threat to the safety, health, and assets of citizens. Hazardous materials include water, pollutants, toxic waste, and substances at volatile temperatures. Intermediate Bulk Container, IBC. This is portable packaging that can be rigid or 
susceptible to adjustments. Uh, it is made to take the place of a portable tank or a cylinder. Limited quantity. This is the maximum quantity for which a hazardous material may have a labeling exemption. Markings. These are the name, description, caution, identification number, or specifications on the outside body of packaging. Mixture. This is the compounding of two or more chemical elements. Non-bulk packaging. This is smaller than the packaging size of bulk packaging. For liquids, the maximum capacity is 459 liters, which equates to 119 gallons. For solids, the maximum mass is below 400 kilograms, which is equivalent to 882 pounds. For liquids, the highest capacity is 450 liters or 119 gallons. NOS. This means not otherwise specified. It's an acronym. NOS. Not otherwise specified. Outage. This is also known as the eulage. It is the quantity in which a packaging goes below its full capacity. It's often stated in volume. Portable tank. This is a type of bulk packaging that has a maximum capacity of a thousand pounds. It does not consist of a tank car or cargo tank. PSI. This means pounds per square inch. PSIA. This means pounds per square inch absolute. RQ. This means reportable quantity. RSPA. This is the Research and Special Programs Administration. Shippers certification. This is a statement in which a shipper, the shipper asserts on a shipping paper that the shipment is prepared and packaged in compliance with the law.